Hi, right, this is Artifacts of Mars with a mental disorder of liberalism update. Muslims prepare for weekend of anti-Islam protests. Now, what's wrong with this? You know, Hollywood attacks con Christianity constantly. I don't see any preparation for that. Uh, the homosexuals go on parade frequently and attack Christianity viciously in their parades. I don't see anybody preparing for that. But look at this. Muslim leaders and anti-bigotry activists, which is a lie, by the way, because they're mentioning the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, which is a hardcore Marxist Leninist group. Southern Poverty Law Center is one of the worst. I don't know if it's Marxist Leninist or fascistic, but they are they are devout enemies of freedom. I mean, it's like having Hitler, Stalin, Mussolini all lumped together in one group. Whatever. Organizer, we've never had this many events at once targeting mosques in this kind of national way. Bummer. That is a problem. Organizers, well, there hasn't been enough of them. Organizers are calling for protests on Friday and Saturday, October 9th and 10th of building events as global rally. Global rally for humanity. Belarus describes the protesters as a loose affiliation of anti-Muslim groups. I lost my track. Anti-Muslim extremists who do not seem to be organized by larger but are known anti-Muslim groups such as Pam Geller's American Freedom Defense Initiative. This mix of racist groups, anti-Muslim groups, and anti-government groups is basically a recipe for a disaster, Bell Byrich said. No, madam, uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center is a recipe for disaster. You are anti-freedom, anti-American. You do not deserve to call yourselves Americans, and you should leave this country. Kayla Abiyad, the Center for New Community, a Chicago-based anti-bigotry group, says some of the largest crowds are expected to protest outside mosques and Muslim community centers in Phoenix, Arlington, Texas, Dearborn, Michigan, and like Ocala, in Spring Hill, Florida, at least 20 protests are planned. Law enforcement agencies from the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI and local police are working with mosques and Muslim community centers to help keep them safe, said participants in a Thursday, October 8th con conference call hosted by the Center for New Community and other groups concerned about the vitriol of the protesters and the potential for violence. You see, they don't protect Christians. They don't give a flying fuck about Christians. But Muslims? Well, they're a protected group. They have to be guarded. They run rush out over the Christians can do pretty much anything they want in this country. Not speaking specifically of Muslims, by the way. Paul Galloway, executive director for the American Center for Outreach in Tennessee, he said law enforcement agencies in Tennessee's urban areas have been exceedingly cooperative as Muslims prepare for a possible onslaught of anti-Muslim sentiment. Now, we'll see. Uh, like I said, they uh, won't do squat for Christians, but they'll uh, cozy up to the Muslims. You can see where we're headed in this country. You women, 
You think you're so, you're always uh, bitching about your rights? Well, uh, I got news for you. <laughs> Where all Muslims get full control over this country, you're going to wish for the old America back, I guarantee you. And you men, uh, you're going to be screwed too, so don't get smug. I'm Artifacts Mars, thanks for watching.